Previously, I updated my LG to the latest version of Android by cross-slashing it. All my data were wiped out and I was finally up for that fresh restart. But something didn't seem right. I am rocking a 64 gigs version of the G7 and only 45 each were left for me even a complete reset. And things get even worse for the latest flagships with the OnePlus 8 Pro adding up to 20 gigs, the Galaxy S20 Ultra 20.4 and the LG V60 a whopping 28 gigs of internal storage. That's insane. Let's see why the system and the apps need that much storage and if 64 gigs is enough in 2020. My name is Kensley, I do tech videos and this is Kevin Tyler. Before we begin with the roller coaster, let's see a segmented view of what's stored on the internal storage. Generally, you'll find image and videos, music and audio, games, movie and TV apps, and the files stored inside the internal storage. But what's got my attention here is the apps and the system, but let's see about these first. Image and videos. This is the amount of photos and videos stored in your phone. It can be a video coming from your camera or a movie copied from your computer, as long as the system recognizes the file extension as a picture or a video. If it does it or it's something else, it'll appear as a file. The same for music and audio. Pictures come in all sizes and resolutions, but generally speaking, a 16 megapixel shooter will capture photos that are around 5 and 7 megabytes for normal photos and 13 to 15 for portrait photos with the option to change the amount of bokeh after snapping them. Music files will vary between 6 and 13 megabytes per files if they are MP3 files with a data rate of 320 kilobit per second. LG users will something carry uncompressed FLAC files that can go up to 32 megabyte. Testing some recorded 1080p videos, 64 gigs is pretty much sufficient to record nearly 6 hours of 1080p videos at 24 megabits per second or having more than thousands of photos. But in the real world, things don't work like that. No one has only photos or only videos on their smartphones. All of this can easily be stored on a SD card, so let's focus on the app and the system. Okay, I have 20 apps installed on my phone and I use them regularly and some others that are tools that I only use once in a while and others that are like add-ons that I just install, set up and then forget about them. For the apps I use on a regular basis, they use as much as 8 gigs on my smartphone. In the whole, all the apps combined use a total of 11 gigs. Now let's see why the apps use that much space. When installing an app from the Play Store or from a website, let's take the example of WhatsApp. The downloaded file will be an APK which stands for Android package and the size will be around 22 megabytes. How did this app start from 22 megabytes and goes up to 400 megabytes? Well, see the APK file as compressed raw or zip files. The system decompresses it and moves the files to data and it contains all the codes and the assets that the application needs to run. Lib contains the compiled code sometimes for different instructions set at a time because you want your app to be able to run on the latest apps and also older devices that still runs 32 bits processors or even x96 processors. The res contains external drivables, images, strings and other resources for Android to use when the device configuration is different. If you want the layout of a 16x9 screen to be seen nearly as the same as a 19.5x9 for example, you should have this outside the main code of the app to prevent real stuff from happening. You also have the assets, but you already got it, you understand what assets are. Multiple codes, multiple assets have to be made to support the maximum amount of devices possible, but that alone doesn't skyrocket the size of your app. Okay, as you can see, after installing WhatsApp, it's now only using 54 megabytes. But because it'll store your account info, the preferences, your messages, 
this will definitely need space and let's not talk about the amount of pictures, videos, throwbacks, I'm a savage, videos your friends will upload and those will need to be stored somewhere. That's why Raytrist Notepad needs at least 15 gigs to run properly. The system is the total amount of storage the system uses, but because it uses an AB partition, the space re required is now doubled. Okay, now you may ask, what is an AB partition? Basically, the OS is mirrored to a second partition. The idea is that when you receive an update, they are being installed to the other partition so that you can keep using the phone without interruption. Once the update is finished, you reboot and the phone boots to the other partition. This also gives you a fallback in case the update causes a problem. You can jump back to the other partition containing the previous version. So, if the system is using 19 gigs, that's because you have two copies of Android installed. Okay, now I don't, I don't know how, why the V60 uses as much as 28 gigs, but I definitely know. Liking this video and leaving a comment will definitely help my channel to grow. That sums it up for today's video. I'm your host Kensley. This is Kevin Tyler, and I'll catch you up in the next video. Peace.